You've been asked to deliver a training or you're new to training and you really don't know where to start. Here's five more tips on how to have a successful training session. Number one, start with the end in mind. In other words, define success for your session. What does success look like? How are you going to measure it? What are your participants going to be able to do or what are they going to stop doing because of this training? Really clearly spell that out and define it before your session even starts. The second tip, what's in it for me? With them, that's right, what's in it for me? Make sure you can clearly articulate what's in it for me for your participants. So at the beginning of the session, you can clearly explain, this is why you should pay attention. This is the benefit you're going to get. This is how your life is gonna be made easier, simpler, and better if you just pay attention for the rest of the session. Adult learners don't like to learn just because, so give them a reason to learn. The third tip, think about your delivery types. As you're designing your session, think about how you're going to actually deliver the material. Don't always just default to in-classroom, in-person instruction. Don't just default to, we're gonna do a webinar. There's a million other ways to deliver knowledge, to guide participants to knowledge. Think about all the other effective ways to deliver information. Video series, e-learning, self-study courses, audio. There's a lot of different ways to go about sharing information. Keep in mind, you might have to use several different types of delivery for the same topic. While we're talking about delivery, the fourth tip is that if you are going to do classroom-based instruction, think about the vocal delivery of your training. Now, I recently did a seven-part series on how to improve your vocal delivery of training. But that can be a huge area of improvement for you. So think about your vocal delivery. And if you need to kind of level up a little bit, do that before your session even starts. And the fifth tip is a big one. What is the knowledge level, experience level, educational background? What is your participant pool made up from? Take some time to really analyze your participants. What sort of training efforts have already been done before? What sort of training efforts have your participants been through? What is your experience with your participants in the particular job role you're training with them on? Have they been there for a week or 10 years or 20 years? What is their educational background? What is their primary language? What do they, how long have they been and what do they know about the organization? All of these different topics can be helpful to make sure you're really targeting your training to be the most effective. So there you have it, five separate tips on how to have an effective training session, things to start thinking about long before you actually start making content for your session. In other words, before you start building that slide deck, these are things you should be thinking about. Let me know what you think. What I miss? Leave me a comment down below.